The league has been a good starting point for us. Was a lot of new faces around in the in the tip camp, and uh, really, I suppose, happy with the way we we started off and, and the effort that we put in. The game has changed massive massively since even I joined, you know, um, and it's changing every year. Like I said, there's a lot of new faces around. It's really refreshing, and there's a lot of work going in behind the scenes at training, and it's really competitive there at the moment. So the new younger lads are, are bringing a lot to the, to the to the team and to the squad, and it's really good for for Tipperary hurling. Like last year, we, there was a lot of learns for us as a team as well and as a squad, um, which is really good as well. So um, refreshing, all right, but. Um, really good and competitive as well at the same time. The time is moving on pretty quickly now and I suppose I am coming, I am probably there a while now so um, I suppose there's huge responsibility with that and um, I suppose there's a lot of younger lads looking to you, up to you as well but there's a lot of leaders in that group and that team um, so it's, it's, it is really good but there is responsibility with it as well and um, I suppose as regards my role I'm st I still go out and play the way I've always played, the way I've played when I was younger. Um, and we're representing Tipperary as well, so that comes with big passion and I suppose energy as well. So um, like that, my role is still the same. Um, I'm still a player on the team and um, just keep putting in as much effort as I can every year. And um, you always dream about it when you're growing up as a child and um, especially in Tipperary, there's huge responsibility putting that blue and gold jersey on and there's huge expectation as well. And we know that as players. So you're thinking about that every day. You're lucky enough to put the jersey on over your head. There's lots of people getting different game time, and which is badly needed as well before championship. And like I said, it is good preparation for a championship, and it's really competitive at the moment. So um, it's all about getting games into the legs, and um, and looking forward to a good good season hopefully ahead for us. I suppose Munster championship is <laughs> it's pretty difficult at the minute, and it's really competitive. Every team is is unbelievable in Munster, so um, it's something that we're so lucky to be involved in as well on one side, but it's also very tough. Um, so you have to be in best shape going forward for that. Um, but yeah, focusing on in, um, on our first round, and we'll see how how we go after that. I suppose even last year in, in the Munster Championship against, against Limerick was a cracker in town as well. Um, so really looking forward to that again. Um, it really sets the tone as well for for the Munster Championship going forward, first opener against Limerick and uh, the champions. So um, we'll be really relishing that. But um, like that, we'll have to be in um, good preparation before it. If it's a good performance, you have to refocus pretty quickly. But if you have a bad performance, it's, you get a chance to get that off your back pretty quick as well the week after. So you can look at it both ways, but um, it's obviously pretty tough. It's a pretty intense part of the year. Um, but that's the same for every team. And, you know, you just have to go with it and focus on game by game. And that's, I know it's it's, it's easy to say that, but you have to focus on game by game and reset then um, as the week goes on and prepare for the next team coming at you because it is a quick turnaround.